Other questions? Things I can help with, yeah? Um, on the your do no feel fear mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. you said give like a budget guarantee for like if they Yeah, I might do that in my proposal. What what do you mean by budget guarantee? Like uh, guarantee maybe something budget? like this. Um, it could go a, a number of different ways, but <coughs> whatever details you made up, first of all, they'd have to be reasonable. I mean, um, I wouldn't say something like, uh, for an 18-week project like this, I wouldn't say something like, if you are in any way unsatisfied at any point, we'll give you all your money back. All right. I don't think a company would actually do that. However, I think that it would be reasonable for a company to say something like, we estimate our budgets very carefully. However, comma, we also know that sometimes unexpected things happen. For example, comma, gas and fuel prices, uh, gas prices might rise. This would make it more expensive for us to operate our equipment to get to the different sites and would, it, would hurt our bottom line. However, comma, we are confident that gas prices won't go up during this 18-week contract. If gas prices do go up, comma, we will absorb that extra cost and not pass it on to you. Therefore, we guarantee that things like gas price fluctuations or weather that prevents us from mowing or weather that requires us maybe to mow more than a week, more than once in a given week, will not affect our bid price. We guarantee this price no matter what. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I think that would be a reasonable guarantee. Something else that you might do, you know, focusing, say, just on gas prices, is you might say something like, and again, I would massage this for wording, but just off the top of my head, for brainstorming, I'd say, if gas prices go up, we'll absorb that cost. We don't think that they will, but if they do, we don't want you to have to be penalized. On the other hand, if gas prices go down, we'll pass that savings on to you. So our bid is the maximum that we would possibly charge. We might end up charge, you might end up paying less depending on what gas prices do. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And I think for a, a landscaping company that would be reasonable and also makes sense because for a landscaping company, besides labor, gas is probably your biggest expense, right? Especially if you're getting like industrial mowers to a highway, you know, to tackle medians and stuff. So, is that helpful? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, so the general brainstorm would be, mm, let's have some sort of price guarantee. And then that's what I mean by my brainstorm is pretty vague in general. I would need to brainstorm more details. What I might end up doing, this has been a useful technique for me in the past, is if I do end up creating a long, multi-section, very formal proposal, I might end up coming up with examples of both, actually. But for a, a long, multi-section proposal, once you do a general brainstorm, you know, like here are some general things, like something to do with a price guarantee that we want to, you know, you could then look at that and say, does this shake out into general sections? Like, for example, price guarantee would probably make sense to go into budget. Maybe also you have another thing on the brainstorming list for no, like our, how we created our budget, like how we did the calculations. That's something else that could respond to a fear, right? So let's put both of those things into a big section we'll call budget. Let's get a new piece of paper, call it budget, Put those, you know, like sort of with lots of space around them, price guarantee, detailed calcs, and then start brainstorming, okay, price guarantee, what would that be? And, you know, and then that way you have like a page of brainstorming notes for each section. And then writing each section really literally then just becomes, I'm just filling in the stuff I brainstormed. But I've already got all the content, I'm just making a complete sentence. Right. Right. So. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why brainstorming comes very early and that's why it's vital. If you do a great job with brainstorming, proposals write themselves, essentially. Because you've already got all the content.
you already know how it should be organized. You already know that everything responds to a fear. That's a great focus. Or as Rob Ryan would say, great hustle. Other questions? Anything? 